Hola, fifth grade. What number is this? Now, it might sound like a silly question, but just trust me. Did you say five? Well, that's interesting. What if I place a decimal point here? How does that affect the value of this number? What is this number? How do you say it? Well, that's some of the things that we're going to be learning today. We're going to do a place value review. Okay. So over here, you have our place value chart, which we're going to be using. Okay. And over here is a T chart of the different forms that we're going to translate um, our numbers into. All right. Right here, you can find our essential question. Our essential question is, how does decimal placement affect number value? Okay, so I want you to uh, remember that, and I may put it inside of the video. All right. So this number, at first it was five. This number is five what? Five tenths. Let's go over our place value chart, right? So right here we have the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, okay? Notice that our decimal is always behind the ones place and it's in front of the tenths place, right? So you have the tens place, hundreds place, and thousands place behind the decimal. So our number was five tenths. Well, what if I multiply five tenths by 10? How would that affect the value? What place would the five be in then? That's right. Five tenths times ten will give us five ones. And it would be positioned in the ones place of our place value chart, right in front of the decimal. Well, let's say I wanted to multiply by another ten. What's five? times 10. Well, that number would be, you guessed it, 50. What's 50 times 10? That's right. 50 times 10 is 500. What's 500 times 10? Guys are very smart. It's 5,000. Now notice that each time I move the five a place on the place value chart, I multiply by 10. What would happen if I divided the numbers by 10 instead? Let's see. Now we started with 5 tenths. Well, what's 5 tenths divided by 10? It would be 5 hundredths. That's correct. 
Well, what's 500 divided by 10? If you said five thousandths, you're correct. Now I want you to take the time, go ahead in the comment section and type what you learned so far or what you remember so far about the place value chart and the movement of numbers. I can't wait to read those comments. All right. So right now we're going to focus in on five tenths. Okay. Now, five tenths written in standard form or in decimal form is zero point. Five. Zero point five. Correctly pronounced as five tenths. And you can see that when we write it in unit form. Five tenths written in unit form is the number five with the place value written out in words. Five tenths. Now, the fraction form would be five over what? You guessed it. 5 over 10. Now, this should spark something in most of you guys, if not all. There's another way that we can write 5 tenths. I want you to put your answers in the comment section. Go ahead and pause the video. All right. If you said 1 half, you're correct. One half is an equivalent fraction of five tenths. In word form, we just write it out in words. Five, F-I-V-E, tenths. T E N T H S, five tenths. How is this lesson going for you so far? Are you able to remember how a decimal placement affects the number value? Go ahead and pause the video and type what you've learned so far. All right, boys and girls, let's look at a number that has multiple digits, okay? So if you look at our place value chart, I've written, what is this number? Three and 452 thousandths, all right? Now, this number is in standard form already, so I can write this number over here in standard form as 300, I'm sorry, 3 and 452 thousandths. Now what if I wanted to multiply this number by, let's say, 100? What would this number be then? That's right. 
it would be 345 and 2 tenths. What if I wanted to divide 345 and 2 tenths by 10? What would that number be? That's right. It would be 34 and 52 hundredths. What if I wanted to multiply 34 and 52 hundredths by 100? That's right, it will be 3,452. If I want it, I can always add a zero behind the decimal. Now, let's look back at the number that we began with, three and 452 thousandths. We've already written it in standard form. Now, what does this number look like in unit form? Well, there are many ways that we can put this number in unit form. The one that we're going to use today, we're going to say the number three, and we're going to write out the place value for the number three. Right here, what place is the three in? The three is in the ones place. That's correct. So it's three ones. Okay. And 452 thousands. So we're going to write out the number 452 or the 452. And behind it, we're going to put the place value of the last number, which is 2. And it's in the thousands place. So we're going to write thousands. In fraction form, what would 3 and 452 thousandths look like? Did you guess that? That's correct. Now, in word form, we're going to write it out the same way that we say it. All in words this time. That's the difference between word form and unit form, is that in unit form, we actually write numbers. But in word form, we don't write the numbers. We, we actually put the numbers in words, right? Now notice that for the decimal, I'm not writing three decimal point, I'm writing three and. Because when we say the number in standard form, it's not three decimal point 452,000, it's three and 452,000.
go ahead and pause the video and put in the comment section what you've learned so far. All right, class, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Um, in the description, I'm going to add the essential question. Uh, I want you guys to answer that now. I want to make sure that uh, everybody who's on the video answers that question. Uh, also, I'm going to put a link to the corresponding video on Khan Academy. I want you to watch the video and do the lesson for the intro to decimals video. All right. See y'all next time.